So welcome back to PA Academy. So this is drawing 7 under isometric drawing. So if you have been finding value in this video series so far, please do make sure you give thumbs up to all the videos that are under this isometric drawing um, series. And if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please do so. Click on subscribe button. And if you just uh, come across this video and you uh, this drawing 7, so far we've done 6 drawing under isometric projection. I'll leave a link to them in the description of this particular video. Alright, so this is what we are going to be drawing. And in this... Uh, box that we are having here you can see that this box is showing that there is an opening at the top if you look at the top it's showing that there's an opening so it's not just an ordinary box and this is similar to what we looked at in um, drawing one but the difference is the fact that there is an opening at the top at the top so to get started let's uh, draw our our line that's our horizontal line so we are going to be replicating this so so I already have the line, so I'll bring in my set square and draw a vertical line. So like I do say, make sure your set square is resting properly on the on the T square. So this is it. So note the point of intersection which is here. This is the point of intersection. So you bring in still using your set square so from that point you just mark so on the other side also We are going to be having something like this so what we do next is to take the measurement so if you look here the height of this box is uh, 40 mm which is 4 cm it's indicated here already so this is this is 40 and then the side the sides are also 40 So this is 40. So let's take the measurement of this side 40 mm, which is same as 4 centimeter. So, so now that we've taken those measurements, so from this point that we just mark, you bring in your your set square. So from this point. We are going to draw a vertical line. So on this point again, you are also going to draw a vertical line. So. So, you set your set, uh, your, your set square again it's from this point. So you draw a line to come and touch the vertical line. Like this. So you turn your set square to the other side. So you're going to be having something like this. So now you adjust your set square to, to where this the line is touching the vertical line on this point. And turn it the other way so don't forget all all these things you are going to be doing it with faint lines so draw it come and touch it here so right now we are going to be having something like this so if everything is, is correct if everything is right if you should measure it you should be giving us four centimeter so like this you can see so even though we didn't measure it while we were drawing for the fact that we've taken the measurement from this point to this point, from there to here, and from here to here, every other thing should give us uh, the desired results. So before we go ahead and draw this inside, the one that is inside is looking forming like a hole inside of it. Let me make this bold so that we don't uh, get confused. 
So let me make the lines bold. So from here to here. So, yeah. so if you are finding value in this video, please click on that like button, give the video a thumbs up. So now we already have uh, the cube itself. So now let's go ahead to do this. Now if you look at the one that we are having, it is at the distance of, look at the total from here to here is 40 millimeter. Everything around is 40. So the distance is just 10. 10. that means from here to here is 10 from here to here is 10 you know so making it at the center so for us to do that what you just need to do is so you can use this side is to measure the 10 mm so let me start from the beginning so that so you bring in your ruler so this is 10 and then from here to here is another 10 so from 3 to 4 that represent another 10 so measure it on this side so this is 10 and then from this 3 to 4 represent another 10 so that's the only thing we need to measure so once that is done bring back your your t square and then you place your set square make sure it's resting properly on the t square so from here where we have it marked you draw a faint line like this From here, another faint line. So for us to draw the other one, you just have to turn your set square. So from where we have this 10 centimeter mark, I mean 10 millimeter mark, you draw this line. So if you look at it now, this will give us the um, the square at the top, the square at the top. So let's go ahead and draw that square. So in drawing that square, we will draw it with a bold line. That's a thick line. So this one is currently so for us to draw this line here that is this particular line that makes it show that it's really a hole in there so let me bring back the t square so what you just bring bring in your set square so from here you make sure it is set in this position at angle of 90 this angle 90 So from this point of intersection, you just draw the line down. So and with this, we've been able to replicate what uh, this isometric drawing that we are having here. So let's indicate uh, the dimensions. So it's very important when you draw, you indicate your dimensions when you are dealing with um, orthographic projections. So the distance here is um, the length here is 40. It's 40 and then so let's just indicate the ones inside. So, so right here this one here is 10 and this is uh, 20 and then this is 10. So let's do one more side. So 
So this is 10, 20, and then 10. So that is it. We've been able to replicate this video. So if you find value in this um, drawing seven, do let me know in the comment section. Give it a thumbs up. If you have any question or any comments, just leave them leave them in the comment section below. So in the next uh, drawing, we are going to be looking at drawing eight. Make sure you don't miss that drawing eight. Drawing eight. Make sure you don't miss it. It's something very interesting drawing we are going to be looking at. So that drawing eight will be coming up immediately after this video on your screen. So once you click on it or you just wait for this to finish, the video eight will pop up. So thank you very much, and I'll see you in technical um, in isometric drawing. It's...